anatomical and surgical considerations for the subscapularis muscle. The subscapularis muscle is a large muscle that originates on the anterior surface of the scapula and lies in front of the shoulder. Origin is subscapular fossa of the scapula. The muscle passes to its insertion into the lesser tuberosity underneath the arch formed by the coracoid process and the combined origins of the cracobrachialis muscle and the short head of the biceps. The subscapularis muscle is the largest of the four rotator cuff muscles and it provides about 50% of the total cuff strength. It's important to know that the subscapularis muscle inserts into the lesser tuberosity of the humerus, while the other rotator cuff muscles insert into the greater tuberosity. What is the innervation of the subscapularis muscle? The subscapularis muscle is supplied by the upper and lower subscapular nerves. The upper and lower subscapular nerves come from the posterior cord of the brachial plexus. Blood supply of the subscapularis. The subscapular artery, which is the largest branch of the axillary artery, supplies the subscapularis muscle. Axillary nerve and its relationship to the subscapularis. So the axillary nerve branches off the posterior cord and passes over the subscapularis muscle and then curves backwards below it and underneath the shoulder joint capsule to enter the quadrangular space with the posterior humeral circumflex artery. So what is the function of the subscapularis? The subscapularis muscle acts as a dynamic stabilizer of the humeral head and aids in lifting across the chest. Its main function is to adduct and rotate the arm medially or internally. Testing the integrity of the subscapularis muscle and tendon, focusing on manual examination that tests the function of internal rotation of the subscapularis muscle. At the insertion of the subscapularis tendon into the lesser tuberosity lies the transverse humeral ligament. The long head of the biceps tendon lies within the bicepital groove and is held in place by the transverse humeral ligament. When a complete rupture of the subscapularis tendon occurs, the transverse humeral ligament may also become torn, causing medial dislocation of the biceps tendon from the bicepital groove. Consider subscapularis tear when you see subluxation of the biceps medially. Mechanism of subscapularis tendon tear. It's usually an acute avulsion in younger patients with a fall into an outstretched arm with hyperabduction and external rotation. The presentation is usually anterior shoulder pain following a forcible external rotation injury to the shoulder. The injury can be iatrogenic due to failure of repair of the subscapularis tendon after open procedures. So, how does the tear present itself? There may be an avulsion of the lesser tuberosity of the humerus. The subscapularis tendon tear may be isolated or may be associated with other rotator cuff tears. 88% of patients with medial biceps tendon subluxation are found to have subscapularis tendon tear. Agnosis of subscapularis rupture. Tears are not uncommon and can be missed. It can be either acute tear or chronic tear. It also can be partial or complete. Clinically, the patient will have anterior shoulder pain, anterior shoulder swelling, decreased range of motion, weakness of internal rotation, 
increased external rotation of the shoulder compared to the other shoulder. Clinical tests for subscapularis tendon rupture. All these tests show weakness of internal rotation of the shoulder. So what is the left off test? The patient places the hand behind their back at the lumbar level and lifts the hand away from the back when the patient has an intact subscapularis tendon. The strength and the power to do these maneuvers can be tested by the examiner's hand to resist this maneuver and compare it to the other side. If the patient is unable to lift the hand of the lower back, then a tear of the subscapularis tendon is suspected. What is the lift off leg test? The examiner will hold the patient's hand away from the back at the lumbar region and let go. The patient will be unable to keep the hand away from the back if the subscapularis tendon is torn. How about the belly press test? The patient presses the palm of the hand against the abdomen with the rest in a neutral position. This is an example of an intact subscapularis tendon. A positive sign for the belly press test occurs if the patient is unable to press his belly without wrist volar flexion or the elbow falling posteriorly. The bear hug test is a test used to examine for a possible tear of the subscapularis tendon, especially the upper part of the subscapularis. How do you do the test? Ask the patient to place the palm of the hand into the opposite shoulder with the elbow anterior to the body. The patient will maintain the internal rotation of the shoulder in this position and the examiner will then attempt to externally rotate the arm. A positive test will result when the patient shows weakness of the arm compared to the other arm. Radiological examination. Tears of the subscapularis tendon may be diagnosed by using MRI or ultrasound. The MRI will show detachment of the subscapularis from its insertion into the lesser tuberosity of the humerus. The sagittal MRI will show you if there is an atrophy of the muscle. If the patient has a total shoulder replacement and the patient fell down and there is an increase in the passive external rotation of the shoulder, the x-ray will probably be normal. Then you will probably need to do an ultrasound evaluation of the shoulder to check the integrity of the subscapularis tendon. Ultrasound imaging of the subscapularis tendon is easy. The probe is placed transversely over the bicipital groove to identify the groove and the biceps tendon while the arm is in a neutral position. The arm is then externally rotated to view the subscapularis tendon. Tear of the subscapularis tendon treatment. Complete tear surgical repair. Repair may be either open or arthroscopic. Biceps tenodesis during the repair is associated with improved outcome. Biceps tenodesis is usually done if the biceps is involved in the process. Otherwise, subluxation of the biceps will stress and fail the repair. The subscapularis stairs may be missed. It can be a difficult diagnosis. And if it is missed, the patient will have major disability. The condition becomes chronic, with the treatment becoming harder, and it may require bacterialis measure transfer for reconstruction. This will improve the function and decrease the pain. The subcoracoid position of the transfer allows redirection of the pectoralis major into a direction that is recreating the vector of the subscapularis tendon. Chronic muscle tear 
Petrelli's major transfer is the procedure of choice. We will transfer the sternocostal head of the pectoralis major muscle. The musculocutaneous nerve is at risk during this procedure. Arthroscopic identification of a chronic subscapular tear can be done by the comma sign, which represent avulsion of the superior glenohumeral ligament. So what is the landmark for appropriate placement of the anchor for the upper border subscapularis repair will be the superior glenohumeral ligament. If the patient has a chronic supraspinatus and the infraspinatus tear and the patient is young and the tear cannot be repaired, then you probably need to do latissimus dorsi transfer. A preoperative subscapularis function is necessary for a good clinical outcome from that transfer. Examine the patient clinically. Check the liftoff test and the abdominal compression test. You need to show that the patient has a good subscapularis muscle function before you do the latissimus dorsi transfer and confirm this with an MRI. Why is the subscapularis tendon important in posterior dislocation of the humeral head? Posterior dislocation of the humeral head with a reverse hill sex lesion is a rare condition. The condition can be repaired after reduction of the dislocation with the McLaughlin procedure utilizing the subscapularis tendon if the lesion is present between 20 to 40 percent of the humeral head. The subscapularis tendon is used to fill the reverse hill sex lesion using suture anchors. The screws can also be inserted into a portion of the lesser tuberosity that is attached to the subscapularis. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.